Hello everyone, this is Inga with Craddock Photo Software. I've got a quick tip for you today from our PhotobizX program. We'll be talking about license tracking. Now to access your license tracking, you'll choose Lists and Tracking from the menu options here at the left. And go to License Tracking. And here you'll see all of your license listed in this report. They're separated by the two types of licenses that you're able to create in PhotoBiz, Auto Build Licenses and Manual Licenses. Anytime you create a license in the program that has an expiration date, that license is going to be tracked for you here automatically. You can sort your data very quickly with these top headers here. And when choosing the license expiration sort, you can get a very quick glance at what's happening, what's expiring, and what's coming due. Those licenses that are listed in red are licenses that have already expired. Licenses that are listed in bold are licenses that are coming due within the next 30 days. This would be an example of someone you'd want to send a notice to to remind them that the license is coming due. And that's what this little icon is for here. When you select this, it's going to generate an email for you to send to the client. Now when you have an invoice that has several images on it, and each one with a different expiration date, the program knows to ask you about that. And so this invoice 1052 has two images on it, each with a different expiration date. And we're going to want to choose this image, so we send the email for only the image that's, that's expiring, not the one that's coming due later. So when you do that, it's going to open up an email, and it's going to open up the email in whatever your default email program is. And the email is automatically going to grab information about the license so that you don't have to re-enter it. It's going to list the invoice number, it's going to already pull the job title, and it's going to have the description about the usage with the existing license expiration date. We're going to close this down, and you'll see that there's a notice from the program if you want to log this email. Logging this email will show it in the activity history for the individual client record, so that might be a good thing that you want to, want to do. So we're going to actually select OK for this. Now if you're not familiar with how to set up the email for the license expiration, let me show you how to do that real quickly. You'll go to Setup, and under Settings and Defaults, you'll select License Reminder here. This is the last tab to the right. And here's that email. Then you can make any changes here, make edits to it. Um, so this is where you would set up that information about the license. So let's go back to Listen Tracking. What if you have a situation where you've got a lot of old uh, licenses or there's a license that you don't want to track? How do you clear that out of the program? Well, to do that, you would select the license that you want to do that with. You'll need to open up the invoice to access the license to make those adjustments. You can click anywhere on this line to access the license. So we're going to choose Invoice 1035, open it up. We're going to go to the license. In this case, it's a manual license. And here you'll see at the bottom that the Track the License for this Invoice box is checked. This is a default setting in the program, so all of your invoices with licenses are going to have this box checked automatically. If you do not want to have the license tracked, unchecking this box will remove it from that listing. So let's see how that worked. You go back to Lesson Tracking, License Tracking, and you'll see that that invoice 1035 is no longer showing here. So that's how you can clean up some of these old, outdated license expiration dates. Or if there's a license that you don't want to track from the very beginning, you can adjust it by clicking that box. Or the other way to do that is to not put an expiration date in the license from the very beginning. So that's it for today. Little tip on how to track your licenses. Thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, this is Inga with Craddock Photo Software.